At a time when many Americans have chosen to be divided. Some folks love the president, others loathe him. Some folks fancy themselves as part of the resistance or are making America great again. Well, today, Ed Cryer cares about none of that. Reporter Steve Brown introduces us to the Cheektowaga man who loves this country and is not afraid to show it. We're in the greatest country in the world. There's no two ways about it. And this is how Ed Cryer shows his love of country every Independence Day. A display of flags, 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 and so much more spilling out of his driveway and front yard out onto Nokomis Parkway in Cheektowaga. How did this all start? I used to collect flags and, you know, all the years I was working, if I had any extra money, I'd collect flags. And my wife said to me one year, why don't you try displaying these? And over the period of years, kept adding and adding and adding, and here we are. 30 years in, Ed's patriotism display has grown into this and includes a toy cannon. He's admittedly an old-fashioned guy living in today's America. And we asked him about that. It's an interesting time these days with people with their political opinions about who's got good ideas, who's got bad ideas. What do you think about all of that? Well, I just, I kind of ignore everything. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to let it get the best of me. All I know is I've been so blessed and, and we've been so blessed with such a good country and it's all because of the veterans. We wouldn't be here today, we wouldn't be for them veterans. Now, late this morning, Ed had a visit from some people who served the town. Here they come. The Ucrest Fire Company. Here we go, here we go, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, old buddy. Thank you for coming over. This has been an annual stop for the company before they head out to the Cheektowaga Independence Day Parade. And a lot of my members served. So a lot of the older guys, so if this is what we can do to repay our veterans and support them, then this is what we'll do until he says he's not doing it no more. Good luck to all you guys. About that, Ed you got a few is minutes, 80, look around. and this, as you can imagine, is a lot of work to put together. How long does it take you to get this all set up? Well, it used to take me four hours. Now it takes me three days. <laughs> Yeah, really. Because there's more stuff? No, because the, the mind is there, but the body don't want to cooperate with the mind. And the plan is for the display to move to grandson Jake's place out in Clarence next year. I was talking to my mother about it this morning, and he's like, if you can't do the whole display, that's OK. But we both know that's not OK. We're going to have it all ready to go next year. So I hope he's happy with it. I'll be here to help him. Are you going to like oversee the setup? Yep, we're going to make sure it's good. I got the sense talking with Ed that he was having some difficulty letting go of his display that he's lovingly built over three decades. What he's not letting go of is his love of his nation, of this nation. For Ed, it's not about who's president, it's about being grateful. And that's a pretty good reminder on the 4th of July. Dave? It sure is, Steve, especially in these sometimes divided states. So America. fractured yeah. political opinions. Did he let you fire the cannon? <laughs> no, no, and it set out a shockwave in the neighborhood, so I was a good distance away. Great story, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.